and welcome to another Frankie Ass, the show where we get up close and personal with some of the stars coming to Viva Blackpool this year. Now, we've come out of my dressing room to a very special dressing room, and I'm joined by two of the greats, the one and only Cannon and Ball. That's a lovely head. Have you had your hair done? And have you come on a motorbike? No, you stupid <laughs> I'm just, I'm learning, I'm learning. How are you doing? Hey, Bobby, okay. hey, Tommy, how Good. are you? Good. Good. Well, thank you for taking the time to do this interview with us today. No problem. Um, so you're coming to Beaver Blackpool uh, to perform uh -huh. your show. Uh -huh. So uh, we're going to ask a little few questions about how you two guys got started out. Is that all right? Okay, no problem. Mm. It's uh, good. Do you want us to start and give you the answers now to all that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, the, it was Bobby who asked me. Um, Bobby was entertaining uh, working men's clubs and stuff like that. Every weekend I'd go and see him and have a pint and all that business. Then one day he just said to me, he said, hey, what do you fancy making a double act? And right. I went, I said, sorry. He said, do you want to make a double act with me? And I'd seen him working, so I thought, well, might as well give it a go. And that's what, and well, what he did, he said to me, tell you what to do, get a set of drums, he said, and, we'll, and I'll teach you the drums and we'll go from there. The following day I went in, I said, I've got a set of drums. He said, oh, blam, I didn't think you'd get them that quick. <laughs> and, and that's the beginning of it, really. And that's how Cannonball began. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you worked at normal jobs. You guys, I heard you met as uh, welders. You yeah, were working well, on welders. Well, job. I was a welder, John was a fitter welder. <laughs> he used to run a lot. And uh, <laughs> was, we were both welders, and I used to do clubs at weekend. He used to follow me around. So I said, we started actually with, with a pianist uh -huh. on a trio doing weddings. And so we, he went and then left us two, and that's when we started a double act. Mm. And then we got that many gigs coming in that we packed well and then we became professional. Yeah. And the rest, as they say, yeah. is history. Is history. <laughs> 54 <laughs> years ago. 54 years. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you are national treasures without a shadow Thank of a you doubt. Very Thank much. you. It's lovely of you. But now we're here, and Bobby, you wrote a play called The Dressing Room. Yes. I what did. made you decide to write your own play? I've always been writing. Uh, all my life, really, I've always, it's my hobby writing. Right. And I wrote this play, and I wanted people to see what happens in the dressing rooms, besides what they see on stage. All right. So I put it together, and I said to a lot of, I said to Tommy, and I said to Johnny Cass and Stu France and Anne-Marie, I'm putting this on, do you want a bit of a go with me? And they said, yeah, so that's what we've done, and it's been a success. It's been a great success, mm -hmm. yeah. a great, yeah. great success. Yeah. Now, Tommy, was it a shock when he called up and said, I wrote a play, or were you involved with the writing process? No, no, it wasn't a shock, because I knew he'd always, he'd always write stuff, and, you know, even when in early days, he'd write stuff for the act, and then what he'd do, he'd give it to me, and I'd go, oh, yeah, well, if you put that in there and that there, and we changed it a little bit. But Bob basically wrote it, so it was good. <laughs> So we know you guys love Vegas. We all love Vegas, especially after the last laugh in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. So now you're headed to the Vegas venue of the Northwest, Viva Blackpool. What is it about that place that's so special? I like uh, It's just a. There's a great atmosphere in, in Viva. It's like, it, you just feel at home and it's great and Lee looks after you and so on and so on. It's just a great venue. It just, it just takes you back, way back to when clubs like that were countrywide. Everywhere yeah. had two and three nightclubs and it just takes my, me and Bob back all them years and think, wow. And we're so glad that this keeping Viva going like this because it's fantastic. Yeah. I have to agree. Yeah. I have to agree yeah. with that. I yeah. mean, you guys have performed everywhere, yeah. but everywhere in Blackpool there is to perform. Yeah. You guys have done it yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice to see you see you here because obviously when you come to Viva Blackpool, it's not the dressing room that you bring in there. It's cannon and ball. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's your show. Yeah. Right. What can we expect from the show? Uh, well, we usually do our usual routines, which people want and. Rock on Tommy, I'll have to say that a few yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> it's what they know me and Tommy for. That's it. People like, they don't like change, they want what they are, so they know mm. what we do, and we'll be bringing the same old cannon on ball. There yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a singer who goes on, does a lot of songs, and leaves out his hit. And then after he comes off, they all say, you didn't do our favourite song. So we have to just keep, you know, doing the things that they love. That's right. You know? I mean, we do, but we, do, we are changing a bit, because I'm getting a new partner. <laughs> Can I ask? What? Does he really get your skin? 
Does he go? No. No. I always wondered that. Yeah. I always wondered yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you mentioned Lee before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'd be no Viva without Lee D. Johns. That's true. No. Do you think maybe in the future we might see Cannon and Ball and Johns? Cannon and Ball and Lee. Cannon and Ball and Lee. Who knows with him? You never know, do you? He's a case on his own. He That's is. why we love him. He's just wild. He's fantastic. Who knows? He might you, just. You never. When we come to a beef, he might just jump on. He might him. just walk on and does not know. So we'll wait and see. That's, That's what it's, it's so great. We can't wait to have you here at Viva Blackpool. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can get your tickets online at vivablackpool.com or by visiting our box office. I'd like to thank Bobby and Tommy thank for you. taking the time to do this interview with us. Good luck with the show, thank the you. dressing room, thank you. and we can't wait to have you here at Viva Blackpool. Thank you very much. Cheers. See you next time, guys. for a job and he said he assigned here, he wrote Pisces. <laughs>